Hi guys and welcome back for another tutorial from Nottingham Music Excellence. So I'm going to play some of the grade 2 clarinet studies here today. I'm going to start with this Tenuto study number 9 in G from the Demnitz study book which is a really really good book which is one of my favourites actually. This is one of the slightly easier studies in that book but it's really good for setting up that idea of learning these little fingers and some of those easier studies in just learning how to cross the break and play in that upper register. So I'm going to, as usual, play the music through. I'm going to say a few words about the details of the music and then I'm going to play it again with a metronome and see if you can play along with that yourself really, really accurately. OK, here we go. OK, so you've heard the music. Let's just say a few words about some of the detail in there. So firstly, I think the obvious thing here with this study is it sounds like a study in comparison to the other two pieces, which sound a bit more piece like. Um, this really feels like a study and you really feel like you're learning something perhaps a bit more technical for the instrument here. Now, this is one of the slightly easier pieces in the Demnitz study book. Um, now, if you're planning on going up the grades in the clarinet up the ABRSM grades I would highly recommend getting this Demnitz study book as a separate book it, it really is fantastic now this study is really good for just setting up those basics of learning how to cross the break going from your A to your B which I mentioned in some of the other pieces um, there's no real hard and fast way really whether you need to go left to right or right to left here the music just goes at a steady tempo. So feel free to choose the way that suits, your, suits you best, um, especially for those younger players, as I mentioned in other grade two videos, and, and my son as well, some of those younger players with smaller hands tend to prefer using this left hand C key and then using a right hand B. But either works just as well. If I was playing it, I would, I would play both both fingers down for the B and then if you're moving to the C you've already got that note down so I think that would be the preferable way to play it so just on the first few bars so I would play all the fingers down for the B and then I've got the next note down and remember of course that when you're passing from the A to the B just try and use the bottom part of that A key there, just sort of so you've got an easy way back to the instrument again. Try not to sort of jump from the key to the instrument. It makes it very difficult to blend that note into the next, to the next note. Another thing I do quite like about this piece is the fact that you've got to tongue every note. Um, now I'm going to explain that a little bit further. Now, having taught for a few years, you always meet those pupils that either want to slur everything or tongue everything. Now this, I think, if, is good practice for playing legato and playing with a full sound, but also tonguing every note as well. So give each note its full length, but still do the tonguing as marked. Now that's quite a, quite a good little thing for young players to practice, I think. So you're still playing fairly legato, you're still making a nice consistent sound and tune out of it, but you're still tonguing the notes as well. So just synchronise the tonguing action here really carefully with 
with the finger change on here. So I think that's all I'm going to say on that one. So let's have another play through it. This time I'm going to use the metronome and I want you to try and play along with me. Here we go. Okay, so I've set my metronome to 100 exactly. I tried a couple of different tempos out and I found that 120 was, was just pushing it a little bit. So I'm going to set this to 100. See if you can play along with me really accurately. Here we go. So two bars for nothing, one, two, three, two, two, three. Now something did occur to me as I played through that is that the the second half of that from bar 17 onwards there's quite a lot of bars there 12 bars in a row without any rests so just pace your breathing carefully there try to perhaps breathe every four bars if you can and try to get back in on that next bar without losing time in the music so quite tricky that so see how you get on I hope that was useful for you if you did find the video useful, then of course click that like button and maybe leave a comment below. Let me know, let me know how you're getting on with grade two. But that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.